surprised to see me here instead of Santa Claus? Well, I can't say that I blame you since it is Christmas here. Me? Just call me GB for now. Yep, I'm back in time, many Christmases ago. And right there in that very house is where our story begins, the story of the first Easter rabbit. And you know, we came within a hair's breadth, if you'll excuse the pun, of never having an Easter rabbit at all. Don't remember, do ya? You know all about Christmas and Christmassy things. Like how Santa came to be, Frosty, and Rudolph who guided the sleigh. But how about that rabbit who comes every Easter day? See that little guy with a sprig of holly in his stuffed paws? That's one special rabbit. Though I admit, he may not look like it right now. He was a Christmas present for a little girl named Glinda. Oh, Mommy, I love him. Thank you. I love him. I'm glad, dear. You'll have to think of a name for him. I will, but for now I'll call him Stuffy. Oh, look, it snowed last night. Can I go outside now, please? Yes, dear, but be sure to bundle up. Meanwhile, in the nearby woods, a trio of real live rabbits were hatching a ridiculous caper. Now, let me get this straight. We're gonna dig a long tunnel under all the carrot patches in the neighborhood while nobody's around. And when spring comes, we're gonna come back and steal the carrots from underneath. Totally undetected. We come not, friends, to steal your hearts, but your carrots. You've now met spats, whiskers, and flops, three of the slickest con bunnies around. Alas, my men, behold that silly-looking rabbit sitting over there. Hey, look, he's strange. He hasn't got any hind legs. <laughs> His odor is unsniffable, undetectable. He ain't a rabbit at all. He isn't real. But I am real. I am. I am. Poor Stuffy. He knew he wasn't real like the other rabbits, and that made him very unhappy. But he was Glinda's favorite toy, and as the months passed, so did his sadness, because he was loved. But one day something happened that was to affect everybody's life. Little Glinda took ill. I'm afraid it's scarlet fever. Oh, dear. My poor little girl, what can I do? Well, the first thing is to burn all of the bedclothes. And, oh, yes, that old stuffed rabbit. Burn it all at once. Now, taking away a child's favorite toy is no easy matter. And how would she ever explain to little Glinda that Stuffy had to be... Well, you know, even I hate to say it. Oh, dear, it's getting late. I think I'll leave all this for burning tomorrow. Our rabbit friend thought to himself, what's the use of being loved if it all ends like this? Who, who are you? My name is Calliope. I take care of all the playthings that the children have loved. 
And when they're old or worn out, <laughs> then I come and take them away with me and turn them into real. Why? Wasn't I real before? You were real to the little girl who loved you, and now you should be real to everyone. Stuffy was mystified, but he hadn't heard the most important part. Now that you are real, I have a special mission for you. You have been chosen to be the first Easter rabbit. But why me? I'm nobody. And why do we need an Easter rabbit? A good question, wouldn't you say? But Calliope had a good answer. She explained to Stuffy why all the holidays of the year needed symbols to help people remember them. Springtime needs someone to remind all the children of her special holiday. They could form the lovely habit of saying Easter's here cause there's that rabbit. There's that rabbit taking some blue from the sky. There's that rabbit mixing a buttercup dye. There's that rabbit painting his green everywhere. A magical hair. That rabbit. There's that rabbit. There's that rabbit. Helping the spring do her tricks. There's that rabbit. Chiseling chocolate chicks. There's that rabbit. That rabbit. Far from your typical jack. Each year he'll be back. That rabbit. Easter needs a little old me. <laughs> There's that rabbit, There's that rabbit playing his egg rolling game. There's that rabbit, There's that rabbit, everyone's calling his name. There's that rabbit, There's that rabbit, Easter's his garden to tell our cottontail friend. That rabbit. To begin, you must go to Easter Valley, where the golden Easter lily blooms, and it's always springtime. It's over the hills, to the west of the sun, and beyond the third mountain. <laughs> but now someone will show you the way. Easter is only two weeks away, so hurry, 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 hurry. But beware, beware of zero. zero, 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 zero. But who? <laughs> How? Oh, wait, don't, don't go. I have so many questions. Think I'll begin with a hop. He's coming around just a nasty bump on the noggin. What's your handle, kid? My name? It's, uh, it's... Gee, I, I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm the new Easter rabbit. Boy, he's a dilly, isn't he? And, uh, where were you hopping to so madly? I'm off to find Easter Valley, where the golden Easter lily is, and... Hmm, golden Easter lily, eh? <laughs> Excuse us for a moment. Since you're obviously not in the best of health, my companions and I feel it our duty to accompany you on your journey. Gee, that's great. Let's get started. Zero, 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 zero. But beware of zero? What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. But it was something indeed, for the Easter rabbit had remembered Calliope's warning about zero. Bruce? Bruce? I'm coming! Ooh, ooh, zero! Bruce? What have you found out about the road into Easter Valley? Did the elves know anything? Not a thing, not a thing! I give up! 
You see, Zero and Bruce were in charge of keeping the North Pole nice and white. Everything was all lovely and covered with snow, except Easter Valley. Zero had never been able to find the secret road into Easter Valley, and so it stayed green all the year long. We can't give up, Bruce. We just can't. There has to be a way. <laughs> Well, by the time our friends had reached the third mountain, they were totally exhausted and ready to turn back. Uh, say, it seems that bird is indicating a direction to follow. What have we got to lose? Someone will show you the way. She's leading us away from the wall. If you ask me, we're barking up the wrong tree. What do you think, Flops? I'd say we were barking up the wrong tree. The tree. It must be hollow. Why doesn't one of us give it a try? I shall be as expeditious as possible, okay? And be quick about it, too. Hmm, if my calculations are correct, he should reach the other side just about now. I am calling you. <laughs> Hang in there, Flops. We're coming over. Everything you could imagine was there. And one person who seemed downright out of place, Santa Claus. <laughs> Just trying to be neighborly. You see, I'm all finished with my job, and I had a little spare time, so I thought I might be able to help you get started. But we'll never be able to do the job in time. There are so many boys and girls all over the world, and we only have a few weeks. Well, why not pick just one small town for a test? Then next year you can tackle them all. That's what I did first time out. Great idea, Santa. And I know just the town. Excuse me for buttoning into the festivities, Santa, but what's in it for us? Giving presents is a talent. One that the three of you have obviously never had a chance to explore. Why not try it just once, hmm? You can start by giving just a little gift of love to a child. You'll be surprised at how much you'll get back in return. You won't regret helping me, fellas. Uh, just one thing, Santa, sir. Is he really the first Easter Rabbit? <laughs> well, indeed he is, Spats. Now I must be off. Blitzen, good luck. <laughs> good luck. Well, they've gone and done it, Bruce. Somehow they've managed to get into Easter Valley, and they're bound to find the Golden Lily. We've got to find a way in. Crafty old Zero knew one thing that no one had bothered to tell the new Easter rabbit, that the golden Easter lily kept the valley warm and green all year long. If it were to disappear, springtime would disappear with it. so glum, chum. Oh, it's nothing. It's just that I've been thinking about little Glinda again. How is she, Doctor? She's sleeping now. She's going to be just fine. Oh, thank you, Doctor. That's, that's the best thing I could hear. Oh, I forgot. She seems to be mumbling something about somebody called Stuff or Stuffy or something. Oh, he was her favorite toy. <laughs> A silly old stuffed rabbit. Oh, well, I'm sure she'll forget about it in a few days. Now, you spend a little time looking after yourself for a change. Goodbye, Doctor, and thank you. Stuffy, oh, Stuffy, you've come back, you've come back. Linda, what are you doing out of bed? And what was that noise I heard in here? 
Oh, Mother, it was Stuffy. He came back, he came back, and he was really real. And there's going to be a parade and everything on Easter Sunday. Come now, dear, let's get back into bed. And I'm going to wear my new pink dress and my new straw bonnet that you got me. Mother, all of my clothes, where are they? Glenda's mother had no choice but to tell her the truth. Don't cry, Mother. Who needs silly old parades anyway? Oh, darling. Oh. <laughs> It's that tree down there. It, it must be hollow. Ooh, ooh. Uh, that's the way into Easter Valley. I'm sure of it. Excellent, Bruce. Excellent. <laughs> tomorrow, Bruce. Tomorrow will be the end. The end of Easter Valley. <laughs> Well, the next day was Saturday, the day before Easter Sunday. I think we shall have a white Easter, if my eyes do not deceive me. A white what? Hey, look, it's beginning to snow. Yeah, it's really coming down. Now I've got it all. <laughs> the valley and the golden lily are mine. Gee, Zero, are you just gonna leave them snowed in like that? Ooh, ooh, they may never get out. Bruce? Who cares? <laughs> Let them all freeze for all I care. <laughs> Bruce was beginning to have second thoughts about what they had done. Bruce decided there was only one thing left for him to do. So he rolled, getting fatter by the minute. It's as if someone out there doesn't like her. Uh, uh, oh, it's, it's uh, stuck. The snow must be up to the roof. I can't budge it an inch. Santa! Santa! Ooh. Speak to you. Bruce told Santa the situation, and Santa knew what he had to do. Ahoy down there! Come on up, it's me, Santa Claus. Santa Claus! I know what's happened. Bring everything up the chimney and begin loading the sleigh. They loaded all the eggs and baskets and bonnets onto the sleigh, and just as it was getting dark, they had finished and were on their way. He came. Stuffy was here. Mother, mother, look. And there's a note with mine. It says, don't forget our date. Main Street and Fifth Avenue at 12 noon sharp. Well. Morning, Elizabeth. Why, good morning, Doctor. We didn't expect you today, being it's Easter Sunday and all. <laughs> Jonathan, please. And this is not a professional call. I brought these for you and Glinda. Uh, uh, Jonathan, you shouldn't have. Oh, it's beautiful. Can I try it on, Mother? Oh, of course not. Now hurry. Uh, the parade starts at noon. The news is all over town. But how did you know we needed... <laughs> A little bird told me. <laughs> Stuffy, oh, Stuffy, you're here. Never saw you look quite so pretty before. Never saw you dress Quite so lovely, what's more? I could hardly wait to keep our date this lovely Easter morning. And my heart beat fast as you came through the door. For
proudest fellow in the Easter parade. In your Easter bonnet, with all the frills upon it, you'll be the grandest lady in the Easter parade. I'll be all in clover, and when they look you over, I'll be the proudest fellow in the Easter parade. On the avenue, on the avenue, Fifth Avenue, Fifth Avenue, the photographers will snap us, and you'll find that you're in the rota gravure. Oh, I could write a sonnet about your Easter bond and of the girl I'm taking to the Easter. Miserable roly poly snitcher. When I get my hands on you, I will melt you down to a tennis ball. You will do nothing. I'm warning you, Zero. Either you put the golden Easter lily back in the valley so that springtime can come back, or I'm moving out of the pole. I've got a good offer from the South Pole, you know, and I've been considering it. Uh, you'd leave me all alone here? No elves, no Sunday night dinner with Mrs. Claus's home cooking and those little noodles at home. No midnight rides with the reindeer. Just me all alone here by myself, by myself. <laughs> What good is all of this? What good is anything without friends to share it? <laughs> I'd even miss Bruce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who's that? Me? I'm Zero. Sorry to drip and run, but this weather is bad for my health. Bye. And, and oh, yes, happy Easter. Gee, he doesn't seem like such a bad guy. I wonder what all the fuss was about. Well, at least this time we've got a year's start. Huh, Whiskers? Right you are, GP. So you found me out at the very end. That's right, I was stuffy. Many, many years ago, that is. And so the Easter lily brought eternal spring with it. The chickens could lay their eggs and the world would know that next year and every year, I'd be back again. Happy Easter! Sugar Dimples felt free to run, skip, and jump, even climb up a tree. <laughs> Boom at the line! You are a very brave little girl. Thank you, Monsieur Director. And I think I know a way we can use your athletic ability in the film. How is that? I would like you to be Sugar Dimple's stunt double. We can work together. Magnifique. Cut. Bring in the stunt double.
double. There you go. You look just like sugar. Good luck, Madeline. Merci. Places, everybody. Camera and action. Many months later, in fact, almost a year, it was the time for the Parisian premiere. In two straight lines, they left the scene. No longer 12, but now 13. And tomorrow, I will take you to visit the real Eiffel Tower. This is the most wonderful vacation I ever had, with all my new friends. They entered the old house with a new friend they adore. And that's all there is. There isn't any more.